What is up guys, back here on another video, and for today's video, I'm going to be ranking the characters from this update from worst to best. Now, let's get on with the video. For the first spot, we have Ukiota because of his base. His base, low damage and skinny beam. I know it's fast, but it does terrible damage, which could be a bad combo extender. Slice, it's instant, it does 50 damage, and because of the fact that it is super instant, it can be hard to ladder with it. Predict, it's like a flash step rush move. It's called predict, but the move itself is predictable. Bala, it only does 10 damage, it's AoE, and it's blockable. The hitbox is super weird though. And his awakening. I know he has two awakenings, but Spear is like his re his really good move. Blockable though. Zero. It's pretty much his only good move. And his awakening drains pretty fast, so you gotta keep damaging your opponent so that you can get your second awakening. Wing attack. It does decent damage. Slice. It's the same thing except it knocks back. Don't see how that can be useful. And now I'm gonna show Segunda. So now, Segunda. It's res, but a bit stronger. Wing attack. It does more damage. Zero. Res zero, but it does twice the damage. Spear. This time it actually guard breaks. And it has a bigger explosion. Slice. It's a bit more reliable. And in my opinion, Segunda's actually pretty good, but if your opponent runs away from you while you're in res form, you are not going to get Segunda at all. Like, if your opponent knows what they're doing, like, they can dodge your attacks, they can bait you out, you will not awaken at all. And that is why I compare it to the other four characters. Lukiota is just not that good. So now, time for the next spot. For the next spot, we have Yoruichi. And it's for three things. One, flash combo. After you use it, you can't combo extend. That kind of sucks. And flip. It can be cancelled. And the next part is her awakening. Her awakening isn't bad. Hear me out. But you cannot run. The Q is spammable, but you cannot run. That kind of sucks. I wish she was able to run and the Q had a regular cooldown. But it is what it is. And again, she's not bad. She's actually pretty good, because this move, uh, it evades block, or it ignores it. This is... That was loud, and that move is actually pretty scary. This one just looks cool, and it does a ton of damage. That is an auto TP guard break. It can be reliable, but this one here is my favorite move. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so flip. It just flips your opponent over. Pounce. It auto TPs, but it doesn't guard break. Any of those 20 damage and knocks back. Down smash. It is a really good combo extender. Flash combo. 
It cannot work as a combo extender because of what I explained earlier. So that is why she's in this spot. Now, time for the next one. So for the next spot, we have Toshiro. And there are two reasons why he's good, but he is also pretty bad. Freezing Dash. You have to use it from a good distance, but then again, your opponent could just walk out of it. And when you're using it, you can barely even turn, which is going to be pretty hard to combo extend with, like this. Yeah, just like that. But there's a good part about the freezing dash, and it's when your opponent is blocking, you will slow down and then you'll be able to guard break them. Ice Trap has a pretty long startup, so your opponent could just walk out of it. Ice Whip. If your opponent jumps or moves, the Ice Whip will start circling around them, and it'll take a while to hit. Ice Wall. The range on the move is pretty bad. But, the reason why he's not lower on this list is because his Awakening is really good. Look at Ice Prison. That does a lot of damage. Dragon Flower. You can freeze you can freeze your opponent and then just start attacking them. Ice stall. You can use this move to get out of combos. Just like that. Ice daggers. This isn't a really good move. But even if you miss the initial hit, a few ice blocks will start going at your opponents. And that is why he's on this spot. So time for the next spot. So for this spot, we have Ichigo. And it's because old well, mask, mine is crumbling right now, so. I'm gonna showcase it. It does two get to go ten shows and they both guard break. Flash strike. You hit twice. Impact slashes. It's basically a much smaller multi cut. And when the mask crumbles, just one gets a good ten show. I'm pretty sure it's blockable. I'm see later. Flash strike. It's basically like Afro's Phantom Blade, but it does not knock back. Impact slashes. Still the same thing. And when you put the mask back on, and the mask gets off cooldown, you can use that. And here's the awakening when you have the mask on. This awakening is really good. Roar. Just look at this. Okay, I'm seeing here. That range is overpowered and it knocks down and guard breaks. Okay. Sero. That is a really good Sero and it does a lot of damage. Rear slice. Goes behind your opponent and then hits them. If you want to block it, you have to turn your camera around. It is blockable. Pummel. You teleport to your opponent. If you're close enough. And then you start hitting them. Here, I'm going to just wait until it goes off cooldown. And then I'll show it for real. Okay, Pummel. Yeah, that's what it does. Okay. Before we get to the next spot, I'm gonna just test out gets to go. Oh, a guard breaks. Never mind. So time for the next spot. The best character in the update is this guy. 
he really needs a nerf if I'm being honest. Contender, if you hit your opponent with it, they cannot use any of their skills. They can just block M1 and Q dash, but that is it. They cannot use their skills for a short amount of time. Rapid fire, it's basically Joseph's Tommy gun, except much more accurate and a last combat knife. You slash your knife around, and then you throw it at the end. Triple SL. Your M1s are faster, and your Q dash is now like a TP. His awakening is just stupid, if I'm being honest. Maya. 30 damage. Auto aimed. It is blockable though. Rocket launcher. It shoots a rocket. Square a cell. You teleport to your opponent and then start beating them up. If you uh, M1. Rapid fire. It uses uh, the rapid fire gun and then the contender. Rocket launcher guard breaks. Square cell. It can guard break. And rapid fire. Contender. Yep, I'm pretty sure contender still does the same thing though. Okay, so before we end this video off, I'm gonna just show you a crazy combo. Look at this. Well, if I landed the combat knife earlier, he would have died. So, that's got to do it for today's video, guys. See you next time.